Alright guys, so this is uh, the final product of this Jeep that is finished for a customer. Um, it's a 2007. Got like 98,000 miles on it. Um, he told me, it's first kid. He said, I want it lifted four inches. I want it wider. And I want you to bedline the interior and then just kind of do other things that look cool. Make it safe. <sighs> Too early for me. So, it's on 33s. I'm not putting a four inch lift on 33s, so. Put an AEV 3.5 inch. Uh, they're a dual sport. Uh, kit on. And I chose that one because this Jeep is 99.89% gonna do on road. And uh, AEV does fine for on road. Um, and it was within the budget, even though all their stuff's way overpriced. Next. Oh, no, it's not next to it. So that lift comes with uh, coils, brake line brackets, uh, control arm brackets. Uh, since it's a three and a half, it comes with high steer, which is that a right hand drive uh, drag link. Um, Oh my god! Without ready for today. Um, a track, raised track bar bracket. I don't know if I said that. Um, a Bill Stein. That's not Bill Stein. It's old Matt Emu uh, steering stabilizer. Sway bar link brackets. I put on a new sway bar because his was bad. Shocks. And then in the rear, it comes with uh, shocks. New sway bar links, brake line brackets, and a raised track bar bracket. And a track bar. Um, so that's that. Then I put on 1.5 inch wheel spacers on all the wheels. And then for some lighting, I put IPCW LED tail lights. Kind of show you what those look like. those on look cool only thing I don't like about them is this side light right here is it's all exposed it's open to like electronics they say in there it's waterproof you know it'll be fine to car washes and all that jazz but it just I don't know I don't trust it but I've put it on one this Jeep well, I put it on two Jeeps so far haven't had problems yet so I guess you know it's working um, a set of truck light LED headlights. Black Jeep emblem. Um, I put on Grill Mod, black. I put on a set of uh, Black Box Logistics 3 inch RX2 lights. And some Poison Spider windshield mounts. I'll show those in a second while I'm out here. Rugged red hood latches. This is not put flutter on to make it look cooler, I guess. Um, an eBay snorkel. I think that's it from there. I had to put in a new uh, stock intake because they had a cold air intake, and that doesn't work with the snorkel. So then, oh yeah, I had to give them a new uh, my old tire carrier mount since theirs was broken. Um, oh, he's wet. So here's the interior. It's a tin interior bed line. Nice and pretty like. Uh, he's got two stock sub and, and a 10 inch. Maybe it's a 12 inch. I don't know. I don't, I'm bad with my numbers. Um, I think it's a 12 inch. Type R with uh, some holes. But it still sounds like awesome. Um, yeah, so that's the rear. I had to rewire the whole entire audio system. Um, there's a spider web shade. Let's show you that. Yeah, I've been lining that as well. 
he has a Gibson exhaust. Alright, so here's the back seat. They had a Vier or VA or VIA, IR, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, compressor and a little tank. They had that mounted back there in the carpet. Um, looks, it looked bad there, and it was moving and everything. But they don't have all of their fuel lines, so I didn't rewire it. So I just kind of put it there. The front bed line. I made some. <sighs> God, let me back to sleep. Oh, fuck, I have to go to school. Um, so I made some paracord grab handles for them. These are my like my own design here. They go into a bolt up there, come around, attach to this piece, and then that's all held together by a D ring. <sighs> Not gonna break unless you are like incredibly fat. Um, I put in the Daystar. You need some switches. So, this one's not hooked up to anything, but I wired it and got an extra one just because one switch on here looks stupid, you know, just in case they want to do like the compressor to it or something. Um, this one is to the black box LEDs. See those? They're bright. I don't know. I can't really be impressed with LEDs anymore because I have a 50 inch. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, nice shot of the spider web shade up there. I like it because it really cleans the roof up a lot. You don't have to look at like, your soft, your hard top. Um, it has holes so you can still use your hard top uh, little latches there. I don't use those in mine. They're really just a safety precaution that you has to do. But you know, whatever. And you can still just kind of bend it back. And get to your latches up there. Still can do these latches. Um, so yeah, that was it. Lift. I had to replace. Oh yeah. I also did the ball joints with some Synergy ball joints, and I had to also replace the unit bearing. Um, because the other ones are so badly seized that the bolts actually broke off in them and it was bad. Uh, so basically what I put onto this Jeep, AV three and a half inch lift, snorkel, lights, headlights, uh, black box LEDs, LED tail lights, um, spider track spacers, rewired the whole audio system, bedlined the interior, snorkel, I don't know if I said that. Um, paracord grab handle, spider web shade, um, the LED light switches. Oh, oh yeah, here's one. Um, had to put on new brake rotors in the rear and brake pads since the old ones were actually, they didn't have any brake pads in them. And it was just the caliper riding against the rotor. And in the front, I put on some big brakes, the Terraflex big brakes. Um, yeah. So, yep, that was, uh, I have about 62 and a half hours into this. Um, he comes by to pick it up today, thank God, because I'm really sick of looking at it because it was very aggravating to work on. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, like if you like the video, subscribe for more updates.